hello everyone and welcome back to collective edition 101 classes back in session uh this is the second part of the video where we just recently started reviewing some of the psa cards that we had just gotten back in the previous video we've seen some really cool stuff a lot of reverse hollows some really cool world championship promotional items and even a couple gold stars now moving on we have about another 250 cards or so to get through so we're going to be speeding right through it but we're going to be starting off with something really, really spicy uh, in our first pile of cards here. And then we're going to be moving on to some more cards that are promotional type items. A lot of really cool things. But here's the card that I was most excited about out of this entire first uh, this batch that came back, I guess. And that is a base set, first edition Venusaur. Came back on a beautiful eight. This card is fantastic. Uh, I actually remember that I personally made the deal to uh, acquire this card last year. And it is just a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. Man, don't see these too often. So this guy will be uh, finding a comfortable home here soon. I'm very, very excited for this. So exciting. All right, let's move on to our next giant stack here. A bunch of really cool things. First off, we have an Umbreon, the Spring Regional Championship promo. Came back on a 7. Trico. This is the European Tournament promo. Charizard, a 9. Full Art Celebi, 8.5. So a lot of these cards you're seeing right now uh, are all over the place. Some boundaries crossed, some uh, promotional items. Um, to be fair, I'm actually not entirely sure what all is featured here. Bianca, 8.5, that's pretty cool. Altaria, came back with an 8. So this is about right around the time that I was playing. Uh, I really liked the Plasma sets just because of the cool artwork. Very, very fantastic looking full arts. The mechanics of the game were fantastic. Um, a lot of really, really cool decks that were playable. Cabalion was a really viable card at the time as well. Tornado CX. Uh, at the time, I was playing a uh, deck that was um, based off of the Evolutions from the Team Plasma set. So much versatility there. Sigilyph, Secret Rare, came back in 8. Jirachi EX came back in 8 as well. This guy was really, really good. You just drop him down, search your deck for any supporter. You could level ball for him to get him out of your deck real quick. So effectively, a level ball became a search your deck for any supporter as long as you didn't get the Jirachi prized. Palkia EX, Team Plasma. 8 on this Iris. A whole bunch of secret rares, full arts. Dust Snore was really cool. Tried a couple wonky decks with that guy, which bring him back real quick. Uh, he had a ability called Sinister Hands that says as often as I can turn, you can move a damage card from one of your opponent's Pokemon to another one. So you could effectively set up how their damage was uh, laid out on their board. And had a couple gimmicky ideas, but they just never turned around working. Like using the Kirim that did a 30 spread, you would do 30 to your opponent's active and 30 damage to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Stack a lot of damage out. For, I think it was like two energies. Uh, the attack was called Glaciate. And then from there you could use Dustnor to move that energy, those damage counters around and just take some easy prizes. Zekrom. The thing I liked most about that deck idea is because it didn't rely on any EXs or anything like that. So your opponent would actually have to knock out six Pokemon from you. Meanwhile, you're knocking out their EXs and taking double prizes. And games are supposed to be over very quickly, but 9 times out of 10, that's not how they ended. Alright, next up we have the Secret Rare Pikachu. Uh, fun fact about this guy, too. There are some of these that were misprinted. Now, normally there should be a lightning bolt in the background. This one does not feature it. Uh, Thunderous. Um, with that misprint, there some of them are pretty common. It's a fairly common misprint, so it's hard to even determine if it really was quote-unquote misprinted, if it was that common. Verizian, gem mint 10. Good old victory star Victini. Staple in any coin flip deck, as he would let you reflip a coin if it was not a result that you favored. 
Retali Varekion, another powerful card. Cobalion. Full Art N. The Meowth. As you can see, he kind of has his little coin symbol in the background there. That's kind of how the Pikachu is supposed to look. Full Art Shaman EX. Reshiram EX. Came back an 8. 8-5 eight, on the Zekrom. <clears throat> 8.5 on the Mewtwo. Emboar came back an 8 as well. 8 on Chandelure. And 8 on Hydrogon. Bunch of really cool secret rares. Gonna shift this out of the way. Shift that out of the way. Kyogre X came back an 8. Groudon EX, also an 8. Darkrai, 8.5. Really, really cool card. Love this artwork. Did a great job with the gold trim to accent his features. Archaeops, 8.5. Full Art ho -Oh. got an 8. Mew EX, 8.5 there. Trachyon EX got an 8. 8.5 on the red steel. Rayquaza EX. Gorgeous card with that like fiery background too. 8 on that guy. Giratina an 8. Reuniclus, very similar to the uh, Dusk Nord earlier, except he lets you move your own damage counters around. 8. On the Crocodile. Some hard gold soul silver cards here. Arcanine. Zumero. And Clefable. Wraps up about our first 50 or so cards. Gonna clean this up while we grab a nice dang, fresh box of cards to go through. Now we're moving on to some cards from Great Encounters. Porygon Z, Gem Min 10. Rotom, a little bit of swirl going on, got a 9. Septile, Gem Min 10 with a swirl. Swampert, Gem Min 10. Another Gem Min 10 on the Tangrowth. Uh, I do believe Great Encounters was another set that I just was not playing in, unfortunately. Like I said earlier in the first video, I was not a big part of the Level X era, which, speaking of Cresselia here, was not playing at the time, so I didn't get to experience the playability of these guys and see which ones were better, worse. I'm sure I would have came up with some wonky ideas. Uh, I was a big fan of playing decks that did kind of odd things. <laughs> Palkia, Gem and 10. Gorgeous card. Moving on. Majestic Dawn, Articuno. Cresselia at an 8.5. Dark Ride a 9. Really, really cool. Man, imagine if that swirl was just a, just a little bit further. It would look so cool in that energy ball there. Dialga. Gorgeous Glaceon, 8.5. Super shiny looking card. Kaboo Tops. Leafeon. Came back 5. Manaphy. 8.5 on that guy. 
Mewtwo. Got a nine for number nine. I wish I had more experiences I could talk about with these sets, but unfortunately I just was not playing at this time. Um, I was out of trading card games, not really active in the community, and uh, I missed out on some great sets here. Kind of makes me wish I could go back and play again. You could go back into any format of Pokemon. Where do you think uh, you would want to go? Leave your comments down below. Kind of curious where you'd like to, uh, what eras of the game you may have missed out on and would love to try to play. Zapdos. Nine. Flareon came back in eight. Reverse Hollow. Glaceon. So we got Flareon, Glaceon. Here's Jolteon. Leafeon. Umbreon. And Vaporeon. Looks like we have the whole Eevee family here, pretty much. I think we we're only missing Espeon and Eevee. Some more level X's coming up. Garchomp. Glaceon level X. Gorgeous. Leafeon level X. Another very pretty and popular card. Porygon Z. Deoxys. Moving into Legends Awakened. Dragonite. Frostlass. Caratina. 8.5 on that. Ton of really, really cool cards this time around. Mother Heatran. And a beautiful Kingdra. Gonna take a moment to shift some things around, tidy up a little bit more. Hey, the number of times that I've had to finagle some of these guys, and every time I'm just paranoid, those cards are gonna go flying out of my, car, my hand here. <laughs> these sleeves are uh, pretty slick. But highly recommended if you have any graded cards. Definitely get these graded card sleeves to help protect that case. Make sure these guys stay in top shape. Uh, I believe Ultra Pro is the one who makes these guys. Graded card sleeves. Super nice quality. Keeps the, the card nice and safe and secure and dry. And obviously it's going to stay that way when it's inside that PSA case. But any extra layer of protection is always good. Polito, Probopass, Rayquaza, came back in eight, pretty looking card, it's fantastic Regigigas with that like red, yellow, rainbowish colors in the background, that is super cool, Spiritomb, alrighty, Grab another handful here. Got Eon Mega. Legends Awaken. This was kind of a cool idea back in this era. So these Deoxys, uh, there was the attack form, the defense form, and the speed form. And at any time, you would be able to search your deck for a different form during your turn and swap it out. So, you know, your Deoxys would be transforming into its different states depending on what sort of things that you needed. And it was a really, really cool mechanic, but I just don't think it ever really took off. Aslov, level X. Gliscor, 8.5. Magnazone. Mesprite. Mewtwo level X. Awesome looking card. One of my second favorite Pokemon. 
right there. Yeah. Eight point five on that guy. Oops. Gorgeous. Dust Nor. Getting away from us here. We're in Stormfront now. Another really, really cool set. A lot of fantastic artwork in this set. The foils look great. Kind of wish Pokemon would go back to these old foil style. I think they pop a lot better than some of the new stuff. Magnazone. And this Magnazone came back at 10. Miss Magus. Raichu came back a 9. Regigigas came back an 8. Septile. Uh, 5 on that guy. Torterra. Moving back to some more level X's. We got Dusnor. Guy was super cool. Heat Train. Machamp. Raichu. I believe the Raichu was heavily played, if my memory serves me correctly. Regigigas. Uh, some of the secret rares. We got Charmander. This was really cool. They did a lot more detailed orientation of the uh, base set style artworks. Charmeleon. And then Charizard himself at an 8.5. Super gorgeous looking card. Move on to Power Keepers. Got Agron, Reverse Hollow. Altaria. Armaldo. And I'm going to go grab some more cards here. Make a little room. I think you guys know the drill by this point. I believe this is a little bit more of the era that I was actually playing in. Power Keepers, the Holen era. Finette. Blaziken. Kind of lets you power up all your fire Pokemon. Blaziken lets you grab fire energy out of your discard pile and attach it to one of your Pokemon. Super cool ability. Helped accelerate you a bit. Energy Draw Dale Caddy. Another fantastic card where you can discard an energy card and draw three cards. Gem in 10. Gorgeous. Guard of War. Kabutox. Chain. Raichu came back a nine. Slag King came back a nine. A lot of nines, a lot of 8.5s. All sorts of good numbers on this set. Magneton. I remember this guy. I remember playing him too. I said once for your turn, if you have basic energy cards in your discard pile, you can discard any one card from your hand, then search your dis search for up to two basic energy cards from your discard pile. Show them to your opponent and put them to your hand. So a lot of the times your trick would do is you'd have one energy in your discard pile, you'd discard an energy and get a free energy back, basically. Mawile. Mightyena. Nine tails. And almost star. So that completes our next run there. I think we've gone through about 50, 100, 150. We're down to our last 100 cards. Thank you all for joining us as we get our next box ready. Hopefully there's some really, really cool, exciting things in this last one. Let's just go ahead and crack right into it.
So, Gyarados. Hitmontap. Jump Bluff. Yeah, I definitely remember this area because I remember this Nine Tails here. Rose Reveal. Once during your turn, you may discard a fire energy from your hand. You draw three cards. So, basically, kind of like the Delicati, except a little more centered on the fire Pokemon type. Knocked Al came back an eight. Cool Exire nine. Right you. Our good friend Shuckle. You know what they say. We don't mess with Shuckles. Sloking. Wobblefet. This was definitely the era I was playing because here comes some primes. Amphros Prime. This is about the time I was playing the Requazic Eels deck. Or I apologize, not Requazic Eels. That was Dragon's Exalted era. This is when I was playing Magnazone and Eels. Don Fan. 7.5. For Alligator. And that very old school blast I. Blastoise style effect of Rain Dance, so you can just attach as many water po energies to your water Pokemon in turn you'd like. Meganium. And Typhlosion. Grab our next handful here. Some of the really cool cards I was very excited to show you about. So, this is the Ho Oh Legend. Now, as I discussed, these cards were designed to be of two pieces. So we have the first piece here. We have the bottom piece here. So when you would put them together, you would get the whole card. And that's more or less how they would look. And it was so cool. Um, generally, they were very, very powerful. The artwork was insane on these. They did such good works on them. So next up, we have Lugia. Pieces came back at an 8 and a 7. Gorgeous, gorgeous looking card. Moving on, got a couple secret rares here. Got the Gyarados secret rare from Heart Gold Soul Silver. The Elf Lithograph. These were really, really cool ideas for cards. Um, they kind of had that old ancient Egyptian style text and they were all spelled out in the unknown's language. So this one says, look at your opponent's hand. Not very helpful, but cool looking card. Jirachi. Magmortar, jump in 10. Manaphy, jump in 9. Metagross has a 9 as well. Miss Magius, 8.5. Octillery came back a gem mint 10. Politoed came back a 9. Shaman, this was another very popular card. Uh, again, I was not playing this card at the time, but I knew it was very, very powerful. It says, once during your turn, when you put Shaman from your hand onto your bench, you may move as many energy cards attached to your Pokemon as you like to any of your other Pokemon. So if you're in a situation where maybe your opponent might have, you know, uh, managed to get a Pokemon into your active position that was, just wasn't very helpful for you, you couldn't get it out of there, couldn't treat it, you could always just drop Shaman, move some energies around, and be back in a better spot. Torterra. Then again, for all I know, there was no Pokemon Catcher style effects at that time, so I could just be looking silly right now. Zatu. Blastoise, Reverse Hollow. Nine Tails. Gonna be moving into some more Primes here in a second. Crobat. Super powerful card. Only took one energy for both of his attacks, and they're both fantastic. So the first attack was Severe Poison. So the defending Pokemon is now poisoned, and instead of one damage counter between turns, you put four damage counters between turns. Super powerful. So basically, if you do that to your opponent, come back to your turn, you've done 80 damage for one energy. Crazy good attack. Kingdra. 
Lantern. Awesome looking card. Steelix Prime. Tyranitar Prime. I swear, every Tyranitar always looks fantastic. And Earthring Prime. Alright, we're about to move back into some really cool looking legend pieces here. So, I'm going to clean up, make sure we have a lot of room to display these cards. We want to see them in their full, fantastic glory. So, for our first one, we have Entei and Reiko. Came back a 7 for the top half and 8.5 for the bottom. Oh. So... Gorgeous, gorgeous looking card there. Super cool. Followed up, we have Raiko Suicune. Top half got an 8, bottom half got an 8. So beautifully sequential for both pieces. Gorgeous. And then finally, Suicune and Entei. Top half got an 8, bottom half got an 8.5. Both of them have swirls. Gorgeous. Next up, we have Secret Rare Alpha Lithograph number 2. It says, Shuffle your deck. Kind of a weird ability. Doesn't really do anything else. Blossom from Undaunted. And we're in our home stretch, guys. Only about 50 more cards to review for this next lesson here. And quite a fun experience. It's really cool seeing a lot of these cards again. Reliving the memories, going back to these those tournaments in my mind. And such a really cool experience. If you've never gotten the chance to go to a uh, Pokemon regional or national level championship, or even a state championship, it is just such a cool experience. So many friendly people, so many really cool vendors. So many cool things that you can get that you wouldn't be able to get nowhere else. Houndoom. Macario. If you ever get the chance to go, please do it. It is a fantastic experience. And uh, it'll be nice to see all your smiling faces in person again uh, once we get past all this COVID. It'll be exciting to get to events again. Smeargle from Undaunted. We touched on this guy earlier. Same ability. Letting you snipe a supporter out of your opponent's hand to use as his ability. Really, really cool power. Umbreon came back in eight. Fantastic looking artwork. Back to the evolutions. We got a Flareon. We got a Jolteon. And we got an Eevee. And we got another Eevee. And finally, we have an Espeon Prime. Super cool card. Grab our next handful here. So we got a Houndoom Prime on this one. Raichu Prime came back 8.5. Scizor Prime came back at an 8. Sloking Prime came back at an 8 as well. Houndoom Prime came back at an 8. Super cool card. Got some more Legend pieces to review now. We have Kyogre and Groudon. Top half got a 9, bottom half got an 8.5. Awesome. Cards. This is something I wish they would do back again. This is something I think would have been a cool style to play with, like the VMAX Pokemon. Rayquaza Deoxys, very powerful card back in the day. Top half got an 8, bottom half got an 8. Gorgeous, gorgeous piece. Alphalithograph number three says, let's see, return any stadium card in play to its player's hand. Kind of a wonky one since they can just replay it right back on their turn. Agron 
Moving to Triumphant. Altaria. Celi, we got an 8 here. Love this artwork on Celi. He looks so happy. Drapion. Got a 7. Oop. Doesn't want to go away. Mamoswine. Got a 9. Nidoking. 8.5. And Porygon Z came back at an 8. Alright guys, we're in the home stretch here. Gonna grab our final handful of cards. Once again, thank you all for joining me this evening for part 2 of this little unboxing. And let's just get right into it. Gonna close out with some really cool cards here, I think. Rapid Ash came back a 9. Soul Rock came back in. Spiritune came back on nine. Venomoth, also a nine. Victory Bell came back on nine as well. Gonna move into some primes now. We have Absol Prime. Super cool. Celebi Prime. Came back a 9. Electrode Prime. Gengar Prime came back a 9. Machamp Prime, 8.5. And we finally got to my boy, Magnazone Prime, 8.5. So it says, once during your turn, you may draw cards until you have six in your hand. Pretty powerful ability. And then for one and the colorless Lost Burn, it says, put as many energy cards attached to your Pokemon as you like into the Lost Zone. For each energy you do, it does 50 damage. <coughs> Mew Prime. Another very popular card at the time. Neon Mega Prime. And closing out with some last legend pieces here. We have Dark Ractor Celia, top half got an 8.5, bottom half got an 8.5 as well. Super cool. I just love the way Dark Ryan looks in this artwork. Pelkid the Alka Legend, top half got a 9, bottom half got a 9. Awesome card. Yeah. I stand behind the fact they should have done V-Maxes in those two card style. And finally, we have an Elf Lithograph. So let's look at all of your face down prize cards. And final card, Clefable today. Came back at 8 from Call of Legends. Once again, thank all of you for joining me today. Any questions, comments, please leave them down below. We love to hear your stories. Want to hear about any cool experiences you've had from playing in Pokemon tournaments, traveling on the road, the people you've met. We love all of that type of stuff. And once again, folks, thank you for joining us. Class dismissed.